In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of commands that are part of the Oracle database that allow us to grant and revoke privileges from other objects in the database that we don't own, that aren't part of our schema. And this makes perfect sense that they are all the two commands are called grant and revoke. And what those commands allow us to do is to say, hey, I have this particular object, whether it's a table or a view or something else inside my database, and I want this other user to have access to it so that they can manipulate my data. So obviously, everything that's part of my schema that I log into, I have full privileges on. So any tables that I create, let's say as the HR user, uh, I can go in and I can insert records, I can delete records, I can query records, I can do all of those different types of things on my own objects. But by default, I don't have any privileges on anybody else's objects. So we're going to take a look now and uh, see how we can go ahead and start granting and revoking those privileges to different users. So I have a couple of connections here in my SQL Developer window. Uh, one of which is uh, connecting to my sandbox database as the HR user, and another one is connecting as the OE user. So I'm going to connect now as the HR user, and if I go under tables, I can see all the different tables that I own. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables that the HR user owns. But at the bottom here, there's this other uh, plus sign next to other users, and I can see other users on the system and the objects that they own. So I might look around and I see, okay, there's the OE user on the system, and I click on tables, and I can see that there, there's the tables that the OE user owns, and maybe I want to query information from the orders table. So let's say I want to go ahead and I want to do that. So what do I, what was, what would the select co command look like? So I can say something like select star from, and I preface the actual table name or the object name by the owner. So I can say something like OE orders, semicolon, I execute the statement, comes back, table review does not exist. Well, we know that's not true. The table does exist. I'm, I'm looking at it right there. There it is, OE orders. And the reason that SQL comes back with table review does not exist is that I don't have any privileges on it. Uh, as the HR user, uh, OE hasn't said, you can go ahead and look at the data inside my table yet. So I'm going to have to grant that privilege uh, to the HR user. So I'm going to open up another connection here. I'm going to keep that guy open. I'm going to open up another connection here, sandbox as OE. So I'm going to go in there. And now when I click on tables, I see obviously the tables that the OE user owns. So in my worksheet here, what am I going to do? I'm going to grant a privilege to the HR user. And what privilege am I going to grant? Well, it depends on what I need to do in terms of my business. Do I want to give the HR user the ability to go in there and actually change data, update, insert, delete? For this example, I'm just going to grant select privileges. So I'm going to say grant select on whatever object I'm talking about. So in this example, I'm going to do it on orders. Whoops, if I spell it right and then who I'm going to grant it to. So I'm going to grant it to the HR user. Once I have it there, I execute that statement. It says grant succeeded. Now I should be able to go back into my HR user and issue that query again and be able to see the information. I can select, but I can't insert or update or do anything like that. So let's hop back into my sandbox as HR, and I have the little window up here. So when I executed that command a second ago, I got table of view does not exist. I'm going to execute that command again, and this time I get data back because I have the select privileges on OE orders. I don't have the ability to do anything else, but I have the ability to go in there and actually select that information. Revoke does exactly what it sounds like. It takes the privilege away from that particular user. So instead of saying grant select, I now want to revoke it. I don't think the HR uh, user is going to need any of that information again. So I'm going to execute that command. Oh, we're missing a keyword there. Instead of to HR, we want to revoke it from HR. So. I'll go through and execute that command. Hopefully everything will work this time. The revoke has succeeded. I go back into my HR user. I try to execute that exact same command again. And Oracle says, table of view does not exist. So grant and revoke, pretty self-explanatory. A real nice way, a real easy way of granting privileges to other users inside your database. Uh, what we're going to look at in the next video is a way that we can group all of these different grants together. When we have new employees start and when we have employees leave our company, uh, it can be a real pain in the neck to go through and if this user has 
the ability to do all of these things in let's say 50 different tables and we have to either grant all those privileges or revoke them and you know do all those different things the management of the Oracle database becomes a real pain in the neck in a real short period of time so what Oracle has provided is a way of kind of grouping all of those different grants together into something called a role and in the next video we're going to take a look at role creation and what things you can do with roles inside your database